Hi, I'm Maddie Bates and I'm part of the Film Expo South social media team and we are currently interviewing our members. Today I'm here with writer and director Alice D. Cooper to talk about her experience in the industry and her journey so far. I've always been interested in films when everyone else was kind of reading, you know, fashion mags and things. I was reading film magazines and everyone thought I was crazy. I started writing scripts about 20 years ago. Um, and won various awards for my scripts, short, short and long uh, scripts. Um, but they never really came to anything. Nothing of these nice prizes didn't actually produce anything, nothing got made. So when I had the chance to make something 10 years ago as, as director, um, I uh, made a little film called Feet, which is a very silly film about um, a rugby player and a ballerina who swap feet when the lights go out on the train. Um, and the mayhem that happens after that. And that, I was helped an awful lot to make that by a lot of incredibly lovely people. Um, and so then I thought, oh, I can do this, this is easy. But actually, the more you go on, the more, it, the harder it gets in some ways, the easier it gets in some ways as well. But also the technology changes so quickly that once you've grasped one post-production system and you think oh well we'll use this again oh no that's so last year no one does that anymore so you it's a real struggle for me i'm not technical at all i don't really care what lenses people are using i want it to look and exactly what i want it to look like and i want it to look like this i don't care how you make it happen it's got to look like this oh, okay um so i'm not really bothered about the technicalities of filmmaking at all um I have had to learn quite a lot but um the actual nuts and bolts of cameras and lenses not my thing. Um, I have a literary agent now um, and every time I get an award it's something for her to say to prospective um, uh, commissioners oh she's won, she's, she's won awards for her storytelling. Um, you, it's, very, it's very useful to have proof that you've already um, that other people you know have given you these awards and what's um, curious is that until I started directing I, di I couldn't get a literary agent because until I actually was making films, it proved that actually I was serious. I wasn't just a hobbyist writer. I was actually someone who, was, who could tell stories and could actually bring them to fruition. Ultimately, what, it, what helped me get it was um, putting on a stage play. Um, and an agent who I'd been courting for a while came to the stage play and said, I think that would make a great feature film. Um, and I said, so I, and this is how I want to tell it. She said, send me the script. And it took another 80, min 80 months and three drafts of a feature script. And then she took me on. At the moment, um, the advertising world is pretty quiet. And that's, that's been my major source of income. But most of my filmmaking is self-funded. And I use the advertising income to, make, to pay for the films. Um, so that's going to be quiet. But it is picking up again now. And it's coming. I've got some work coming in, hopefully from the Far East where they're a bit further on. Well, whilst there have been downtime, it's fantastically useful time. So I'm working on um, uh, the hopefully what will be the working draft of a feature, feature I want to film next year. My Hopefully will be my directorial debut. And uh, I've also written a monologue, which I'm working with an animator who lives down your way in Southampton. He's, I'm working with him um, on a, a very silly animation about the coronavirus, but not what it's just completely off the wall silly i'm going to do a monologue in a kind of very artistic way just to be doing something but there's a lot of new protocols that we've, we've got to social distancing things so all equipment has to rise sterilized and no food on set and all sorts of new protocols which i've got to get my head around um but i've also got in the in the wind as well um a dark comedy which we're just casting at the moment which has been in the wind for a while um and we're just approaching some a-lister um actors so i'm having to write um charming letters to these a-listers yeah. saying how much i want them to work for me um and hopefully there's another short film that um is in pre-production which is about syrian refugees so very very different so you have to have a lot of plates spinning um you have to have a, a whole um kind of portfolio of projects and the one the one bit of um advice i would give to anyone trying to come into the business is the key is to network and endlessly collect business cards get a business card that you can write on because if you get it if it's laminated i was right as soon as i meet someone 
I get their business card. I write on, I met them on the 24th of February um, at the Women in Film and Television blah, 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 and I've agreed to send them the script. Oh, um, it's show business, and it's really, it's all about business. And if you're not making money or giving someone the potential to make money, then you're, you don't have any value. And building your brand, so that's why it's really important to have a, a Twitter handle, um, a Facebook page. I have a Facebook page for each of my films. Um, uh, a LinkedIn profile um, and your own website and keep all of them up to date so that if anybody Googles your name, I'm on the first three pages. The really useful thing is to know, if for people to know who you are. It doesn't matter if you know the head of development at wherever. If they don't know who you are, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Alice D. Cooper. With all those awards under her belt, I'm sure we'll be hearing from Alice in the future. Do tune in to our YouTube channel, Film Expo South, to find more interviews with members.